are your gifts, and how have they helped you become who Darren Hardy is today? Well, I think I think one of them is being able to take uh, complex concepts and and make them simple, and then make them app applicable and actionable in real life. And that's what I do inside the pages of Success Magazine. Is there are all these people who have achieved these great things and boiling down to what really matters. You know, what is it that they do? How do they do what they do? And then how can that be translated? It doesn't matter whether they're Steve Jobs or Richard Branson or Colin Powell. What are those key things that they do that um, matter to an entrepreneur that might just be getting started? Uh, and, and so it's, it's being able to, to, to take complex and information, make it simple, and make it tangible for somebody, and then the ability to communicate concepts and ideas. But if I were to boil down the number one trait responsible for all the success that I've had in life, I think it would be this. It's my commitment to consistency. And it's also the reason why I feel like I can beat anyone at most anything given enough time to compete. And it's also the same principle for why the tortoise always beats the hare. It's not how fast you start, it's how long you can remain consistent. And it's what I observe to be the biggest reason why people don't end up with the results that they want in the life that they seek. Most people operate in fits and starts. I mean, most people don't have a problem getting started. Everybody you know, gets excited, they join, they sign up, you know, they start and they begin. Millions of people make New Year's resolutions, start diet programs, join gyms, buy personal development books, go to seminars, hire coaches. They even read Success Magazine. But their life doesn't change. That's because it's not defined by how you start, but by how you continue over a long period of time. So I would say it's the ability to stay consistent in the simple behavior necessary in order to take you in the direction of your goal without getting yourself off track. Great. That's great. Definitely, definitely, I like that. Um, now, what would you recommend to people that have your similar, those similar gifts to be able to take, um, you know, complex situations and stuff and just break them down to their essence? And also, it seems like there's you know, some the commitment to consistency there. If someone has those same gifts as you. How can they use those gifts to kind of guess, emulate those same same results in the marketplace? Well, I, I just think work on them. Uh, commit to can I? You know, the constant and never-ending improvement of yourself. Uh, you know, it's, it's the leverage of the future. We are, we're, we are a knowledge, skills, and character working society right now. And I, I sort of view the, uh, the idea of self-improvement uh, or feeding my mind as, as a race. I think whoever can feed their mind the fastest with the most best information is going to win. And so I look for every opportunity. When I first get up, I am reading something that is going to give me an edge. When I'm driving in my car, there's no music, there's no news. It's something instructional. When I'm walking my dogs, I got my iPod that's pumping good things into my head. When I'm in the bathroom, before bed, when others are watching TV, when others are trolling on Facebook, when others are listening to news, music, talk shows, I'm feeding my mind and I'm separating myself from the horde. You know, there, there's no. <laughs> There's no secret to why others improve at a faster rate than, than other people. It's how they're using their time, and I sort of see the feeding of my mind as, as the great race. And, uh, you know, it, the secret to genius is, is not genetics, but daily practice married with relentless perseverance. And it generally takes about 10 years to become an overnight sensation. And so I just say, whatever your gifts are, work on them, practice them. Malcolm Gladwell in the book Outlier says 10,000 hours of practice is what it takes to become a master at anything. Well, I'm just trying to race for those 10,000 hours in the areas of my life where I'm trying to become world class. 